Hey, Color of Truth family, it's Professor Green coming with another segment of Color of Truth where we reveal the real color of all truth. In the spirit of continuing of black history to infinity and beyond, this morning on uh, Durst Bacon Country, established in 1867. Now, I don't know if anybody eat Captain John Durst bread, but Captain John Durst is one of my favorite breads to make sandwiches and things of that nature out of and it's very soft and buttery well that that bread is distributed all around the united states from savannah georgia but i want to talk about a go figure mr rudolph rudy balstick now Mr. Rudolph, Mr. Rudolph Rudy Ballstick is that he worked at this baking company in 79 and what he did he's famed for making the cardboard Jesus let me show you You can see some of his artwork even inside of the Smithsonian Museum. Been able to, his art has been portrayed all throughout the United States. I'm gonna read a little bit about Mr. Rudolph Bostick. Was born August 16, 1944, and began drawing as a child when toys were sparse. He created cowboy paper dolls with crayons and cardboard to play with his cousins at 17 he was painting pictures based on bible illustrations to be hung in church in his hometown of savannah georgia he was actually di discouraged from making art but he continued and then began to study the old master's paintings he was self-taught artist as well y'all while working for durst baking company he was inspired to use their cardboard boxes and flower barrel tops as his canvases. Classically inspired by the techniques he had learned looking at art books, he began to use them in his work. He loved to emphasize contrasting light and shadow with bright colors, twisting lines, and black board borders, often creating his own frames from overlaying cardboard. He works with a wide variety of media, including house paint, magic marker, acrylics, and a times a bit of glitter, all on castaway cardboard. His subjects still include Bible stories and continue to be influenced by pop culture, but his subjects often vary from fantasy landscapes and mythology to, to mermaids and merry-go-rounds. A representative of Mary, Mother of Hope Monastery in Grahamstown, South Africa, said of his work donated to them that the color and movement as well as the themes are very poignant to Africans. In a country trying to find its way after so many centuries of oppression and neglect, Boston paintings are icons of peace, certainty in God's providence and hope. His work is in the collection of both the Smithsonian Museum of American Art and the High Museum in Atlanta, along with many important private collections throughout the world. I introduce to some and present to others Mr. Rudolph Rudy Balstick. Black history right here, Savannah, Georgia. Dirt getting started right here at Dirt's Baking Company. I'm going to do some more Reaking Company too and see if we can find some black history behind it because we talk about being established in 1867 then you're talking about post emancipation so you know that a lot of black people helped contribute this baking company and it's driving out of georgia so hit the subscribe button like if you're from savannah the seaport drop some information about mr rudy balstick if you know about it if you see this video and look out for another segment, Color of Truth. Drop them comments. Going in here to do a flow. Now I'm going to make this flow at Durst Baking Company look like glass this morning. Color of Truth.